Are you throwing away thousands in missed deductions? The 10T election could save you big. You could be losing thousands of dollars in tax deductions, and you may not even realize it. If you've used a home equity loan or line of credit HELOC to purchase a rental property, there's a critical tax election you might be missing. It's called the 10T election, and without it, you could be paying far more in taxes than necessary. The hidden tax trap of using a HELOC for rental property. Here's a scenario I've seen time and time again as a Portland tax consultant. A real estate investor uses a home equity loan or HELOC to purchase a rental property, assuming they can deduct the interest either on Schedule A as mortgage interest or on Schedule E as a rental expense. But the IRS has strict rules on what qualifies for deductions and they won't allow the interest to be deducted on either schedule unless you make the 10T election. If the loan wasn't used to buy, build, or improve the home securing the loan, you cannot deduct the interest on Schedule A. And if you don't make the 10T election, the IRS won't let you treat the loan as business or rental related on Schedule E either. This means you're essentially stuck with interest that you can't deduct at all, leading to a much higher tax bill than you expected. Real client example, missed election, missed deductions. Uh, one of my clients found themselves in exactly this situation. They had taken out a HELOC on their primary residence using the funds to buy a rental property, fully expecting that the interest would be deductible. Unfortunately, their former accountant failed to make the 10T election. This oversight left my client unable to deduct the interest on their rental property loan. They couldn't write it off on Schedule A because the loan wasn't used to improve their personal home, and without the election they couldn't deduct it on Schedule E either. The result? Years of overpaying taxes. By the time they came to me as their Portland tax advisor, they were understandably frustrated having lost out on thousands of dollars in tax savings they should have been entitled to. We were able to go back, amend their returns, and make the 10-T election, reclaiming the deductions they'd been missing all along. The 10-T election, your key to unlocking valuable deductions. The 10-T election under Treasury Regulation Section 1.163-10-T allows you to treat debt secured by your home like a HELOC as not secured by your home if the loan was used for business or rental purposes. This election is crucial because it lets you deduct the interest on the loan as a business or rental expense on Schedule E. Without the 10-T election, the IRS will treat the loan as personal mortgage debt. If the loan wasn't used to buy, build, or improve your primary home or second home, the interest won't be deductible on Schedule A either. Essentially, you lose the ability to deduct the interest anywhere without making this election. What you need to make the 10-T election. Unlike many other tax elections, the 10-T election isn't a checkbox or standard form. It's a written election that must be attached to your tax return. Here's what you need. Election statement. A written declaration attached to your tax return stating that you are making an election under Treasury Regulation Factory 1.163-10T. This informs the IRS that you're treating the loan as not secured by your home, even though it technically is. Loan details. You must include details about the loan, such as the loan amount, date it was taken out, and a clear explanation of how the funds were used for your rental property. For example, if the loan was used to purchase or improve rental property, this must be documented. Property information. Provide the address of the rental property the loan was used for. This ensures that the IRS understands the interest deduction should apply to the rental property. Interest allocation. A breakdown of the interest being allocated to the rental property. If the loan was mixed use, i.e. part of it was used for personal expenses and part for the rental property, the IRS needs to know how much of the interest is directly related to the rental property. The cost of not making the election. If you miss the 10-T election, the consequences can be severe. You won't be able to deduct the interest on Schedule E, where rental income and expenses are reported, and you also won't qualify to deduct it on Schedule A because the loan wasn't used for your primary residence or to improve your home. In short, you'll end up paying taxes on interest you shouldn't have to, potentially thousands of dollars in missed deductions over time. 
Real Client Story, How We Fix the Problem. When I worked with the client who had missed the 10T election, we saw just how much they had lost. They had been paying interest on a HELOC for years, assuming they could deduct it on their rental property. But because their former accountant never made the election, they were disqualified from writing off the interest on either Schedule A or Schedule E. We went back, amended their returns, and filed the 10T election. This allowed them to reclassify the interest as a rental expense, deduct it on Schedule E, and reclaim thousands of dollars in missed deductions. It was a huge relief for them, but it could have been avoided altogether with proper tax planning. Why this happens so often? The 10-T election isn't well known, and it's not a standard form the IRS highlights. Many accountants don't catch it, and because the election isn't widely discussed, taxpayers are often unaware of it entirely. The IRS is very strict on these rules, and without the election, you're left paying more than you should. This is where proactive tax planning becomes critical. You need to know that your tax advisor understands these specific rules and can help you maximize your deductions. A simple oversight, like missing the 10T election, can cost you thousands of dollars. As a Portland tax advisor, I specialize in helping clients avoid these kinds of costly mistakes. Take control of your tax deductions today. If you've used a home equity loan or line of credit, to finance a rental property and aren't sure whether the 10-T election was made, now is the time to act. You shouldn't have to pay more than you owe. Visit anviltax.com to schedule a right fit call with David Tuck, your trusted Portland tax consultant and ex-IRS auditor. Let's review your tax situation together, correct any missed elections, and ensure you're maximizing the deductions you deserve.